Okay, so this is um, one of these videos where I wish I had the camera right at the start of this project. So this is actually, you can go, yeah, just go back a bit. This is the county. So this is an old um, 1961 Ford uh, county tractor. These are just the coolest um, tractors in the world, in my opinion. They're kind of novel because they are four-wheel drive. Now, an early four-wheel drive system where the, the front wheels were driven from a drive shaft from the back. And the, the way it works is that it meant that these tractors were incredibly low. If you go out to the front and kind of look at it from the front, you can see that the, um, you can see how wide and, and low it is. So they're a real cool hill, hill tractor. And it's because the, the front diffs can be are moved up the side of the engine like that. There's no axle running right the way through like on a normal tractor. And it's just, they're just so mean. And they're like basically permanent four wheel drive. And when you put the diff lock on, you've got like four wheels all locked together. And then we've got a set of steels. Anyway. That's by the bike. So she's been parked up for a while with some um, brake issues, and we just started tried to start her, and um, and the guts of it is Craig actually thought it had a blown head gasket, and he was right. So I just was going to explain what a blown head gasket is. So this, uh, oh well, actually no, go back to me. So the symptoms were that we were trying to start it, and um, and there was kind of like you could sort of tell in the radiator here that water was sort of being um, pushed out and the radiator level was low so we filled the radiator up and then it wouldn't start so we left it overnight and when we came the next morning to try and start it it actually kind of hydraulic like it's turned the <clears throat> sort of locked up solid and then it sort of started to turn again and next thing we had water blowing out the exhaust pipe and so what that means is that water now we get you under here what it, this is the um this is the block these are the pistons it's got six cylinders so there's six pistons and this is the, the cylinder that had the blown head gasket. We'll look at that in a minute. So what had happened, that water that was traveling inside these water jackets here and here, when that's actually the point there, you can see where water was coming across from the water and going into the piston where the, the cylinder is. Um, so it would leak in there. When the piston comes up, there's nowhere for the water to go on the firing stroke. Um, but then on the next stroke, it comes up when the exhaust valve opens it pushes the water out the exhaust valve and up the out the exhaust pipe so a blown head gasket is um yeah when the gasket which seals between this and the head which is um over on actually just sitting over there on the trailer um gets a little uh crack in it now this is this motor is probably never been pulled apart before so uh you know this this is a pretty old head gasket and that's and it was blowing through there so where's the pistons going down it would suck water out of th out of here and into the cylinder. Then, when the piston comes up again, it either blows it out the exhaust pipe, or um, or it compresses the water, which would hydraulic the motor and bend a rod or break something. But luckily, with these old motors, they've got a fair bit of tolerance, and the water, <laughs> luckily, just blew out the exhaust pipe. Um, so we because this oh we'll go over to the head. Oh, actually, just other parts for, for students that are looking at this. So the way this engine works is that it has a, pet, a diesel tank. Diesel comes out of the tank. There's a little um, pumpy thing here which sucks it and pushes it through these two uh, diesel filters. Then it goes through that little line and into this is the injector pump. Um, the injector pump has six you know, um, outlets and that this thing um, takes the diesel and pressurizes it and pumps it into the cylinder. So a diesel doesn't have a carburetor. Um, um, it just has a diesel pump and when you run out of diesel you have to bleed it which is you use this little tickler pump there to, to push suck diesel through the filters through here and out this little bleed screw and there's two of them there and there so you open them until diesel comes out all right over to the head okay now this thing weighs a flipping ton but this is the head 